Tom, I don't know what it is, and I don't grow a lot of vegetables and things, but there's something about getting your hands in the dirt, right? Even for my little flowers outside. It's just, uh, it's good for the soul. And I agree, I'm, I'm not very good at it, but I, whenever I do it, I really enjoy it though. Uh, but you know what, I brought my gloves out. Yeah, I got my gloves this time, and I've got uh, Frances Z Xavier. Mm -hmm. She's with, say your name of your group again. Project Roots. Project Roots. Now, Francis, where are we here? We're in South Phoenix, but this isn't all Project Roots. What no, is this? This is actually called Spaces of Opportunity. Mm -hmm. and, and what is it? And Spaces of Opportunity basically is a place where we have uh, community gardens, and then we also have the acres, so farmers. So we have a community gardens where anybody can rent a plot for $5 a month, mm -hmm. and uh, you and your family and your friends can come down and you know, try to, to grow some food. Now, I get a kick out of, uh, you and I grew up in the Midwest here, St. Yes. Louis gal. Yes, ma'am. In that yes, area. Now, now, think about that. It was knee high by the 4th of July, the corn. Remember that? Mm -hmm. And now, by the 4th of July, it's full blown, ready to go. <laughs> That's true. That's <laughs> so, true. you have some volunteers here. Yes, we Project do. Roots AZ needs a few things to get it going. And first, before we talk about that, what exactly are you guys doing? What are you hoping to do with the community, Francis? You know, we really just want to educate the community. We want to teach the community how they can become urban farmers, you know, and and to learn and to learn, you know, how the importance of growing your own food. Yeah, yeah. I noticed you have some young folks out here. Yes, um, sir. You know, it's so important, I think, for, for you to teach kids this because that's going to go down the line. Like, you know, you're kind of paying it forward, aren't you? Yes, yes, yes. It is definitely important to get your children out here because, you know what, children become adults that are farmers. You yeah. know, so that's what the most important thing is. You know, yeah. we're trying to change generations within generations. You need volunteers. I, I like one of the things they need volunteers for is on Sunday, they, they like to water on Sunday. So I told Francis, hey, you know, I could stand here with a cigar and water plant all day long. I mean, so that's not too hard, but you need a lot of things. So you need some yes. seeds. That's one yes. thing you could yes. use. We need what some else seedlings. You need? We need some volunteers to come out and do some watering on Sundays or any day anybody can come out and help water. Uh, we also need some weeders, some people who can help de-weed because weeding is, is definitely an issue. Well, I know a little bit about that. I've got mm -hmm. a yard too. Yes, so, yeah. yes. I think we yes. all know a little bit about weeds in Arizona. That's for sure. Project, uh, it's projectrootsaz.org. That's how you can look for information, but we'll be back in a little a little bit, you guys. She'll probably get me picking some weeds or doing something. Out oh, here. yeah. Hopefully she puts you to work. You got your farmer shirt on. You got your gloves. Tom, there's no excuse. You know, I got the gloves. I brought them in thinking I'd be in that freezer at Bash's, <laughs> but hey, they work on the farm as you well. Bet they do. GAM. Project Roots is down in South Phoenix and uh, Spaces of Opportunity, they call them. Tom is out there taking the show home this morning. Tom. Troy, you know, anytime I go to these farms, it, these are so fascinating. These sunflowers are always so fantastic. And it seems like in Arizona, they grow like weeds, which is what they had me doing. Now, here's one of the things that these guys need. They need volunteers to start pulling some of these weeds because it's all organic. So they're yanking all this stuff out. It's not a lot of fun, but it's good work and it's good volunteer work. And Francis Xavier, now you're, you just told me, Francis, you're from a family of farmers, aren't you? From yes, the St. Louis area. Yes, How far back? Uh, my grandfather, my grandfather and his grandfather, but uh, but it was a breakdown between his kids. You know, none of his kids were farmers. Yeah. So I'm actually picking up the slack. Yeah, cool. So I'm looking over here. Tell me what these are. They look fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'm ready to these cut one open and eat melons it. Right here. These are honeydews. Yeah. And uh, they're growing great. You know, uh, main thing is water. You know, they need just need a little bit more water. And you need volunteers on Sunday that'll help you water. Sundays that's for sure. Mm -hmm. One of the things I think that you're going to need is I see all this shading and also over here. This is beautifully done. Thank but in you. Arizona, you got to have it, don't you, Francis? So important to have a little bit of shade. You know, you don't need a hundred percent shade. It doesn't need a, a lot of darkness, but uh, but definitely protect it from the the sun rays. Yeah. You know, because sometimes the plants do better looking for sun versus direct sun. Yeah. Project Roots AZ. Again, tell everybody exactly what your goal is really briefly so that people understand when they want to sign up to volunteer what they're getting in for. What they're getting in for, we need um, people who are willing to do some planting. We need some watering on Sundays. We need people to help with some de-weeding and also the shading. We need people to help with the shading. Um, but yeah, but our, and our, our main goal is just to educate, educate everybody. 
yeah, you know, especially with the cool. youth. Bring your friends, bring your family, people who are just curious into farming. Yeah, of all the vegetables and plants, what are you growing the most of? What do you got going out here? So right, right, this back here, like I said, is the, the, the farmers with family farmers. So basically these are a different group of families that are coming together and growing their own food. So everybody's growing a little bit of different stuff, you know. Right now it just needs to be a little bit weeded, but we have some uh, honey melons, we have some squash, tomatoes, mm, we have well. the sunflowers, you see leeks, those uh, those are tomato, I mean, those are onions. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, feeding onions. from the ground up, projectrootsaz.org if you want to volunteer, you guys. Check it out. Have a great day.